and welcome back again today. Today we're working from the Celebrate Theory Level 2, and we're still working in Unit 2. Um, today's lesson is something that we covered in the Level 1 Theory, but I wanted to briefly go over it again um, and present it in a slightly different way because I'm going to pull a keyboard up alongside crescendo and show you the differences um, when how we use accidental sharps, flats, and naturals, um, and also the difference between a whole step and a half step and what you'll be required to identify um, using those in your theory practice papers here. So to start with, let's go over to crescendo again. And I believe that's come up for you. So I put this keyboard down so that you can visually see whole steps and half steps um, as you would on a keyboard. Um, and I'm gonna notate them as I go. So accidentals are sharps that we add and they're also flats and naturals. Now, if I wanted to move a half step from let's say the C sharp, I need to go on the keyboard to the very, you can follow my arrow down here to the very next note if I'm moving above, which would be a D. If I'm wanting to move from that C sharp, actually they've left the sharp in there, so I'm just gonna start over. From the C sharp and I wanna find a half step below C sharp, then I would move the other direction on the keyboard and I move what we call down to a C natural. So that we've utilized a natural sign, which is an accidental and a sharp sign, which is an accidental. So we could notate that in its relation as a half step on the keyboard. So those are half steps. Um, I'm just gonna take that away and discuss the whole steps. Now whole steps have two half steps within them. So if I was to write a C, going from a white note to another white note is considered a whole step because C to C sharp is a half step and then that C sharp to the D would be another half step. So we've got our two half steps in there. So going from white note to white note is considered a whole step. We can also go from a white note to a black key. So for example, if I was to do E, now there's no black note right after E. F is next, but that would only be a half step. So above E, I would need to go to F sharp to get my whole step. It has two half steps in it. Um, I can also go the reverse. I could start on an F and I want to go back a whole step. So I would go down to the E, and I need, that's only a half step, I need to go a step farther. And so I would write a D sharp, or they've notated it different for me. What I really would want to write would be, um, and I can't do that on the keyboard there, so I'm just going to take that away and show you. I would write an E. Oh, that's giving me two notes here. I'm going to take that away. I just want an E, and then I'd flat it. And that would be my accidental going from F to E flat. So looking at that on the keyboard, there's our F to E flat has two half steps in it. Um, you can also go, I'm just going to delete those two things. You can go from a black key to a black key. So if I was on an F sharp, I can move up to a G sharp, and that's also a whole step. Or from a C sharp to a D sharp. C sharp to D sharp is a whole step. Um, so in the theory book here, you're gonna be asked to write a half step above and a half step below the note C. And you're also gonna be asked to write a whole step above and a whole step below the given note that they give you. So be sure to utilize your sharp spots and naturals as needed. And I highly recommend that you have, that you work at a keyboard because visually that'll help you see how many half steps are in that whole step and where you need to move to. Um, and sometimes we get these little rulers with the keyboard on it. Um, anything, if, if you don't have a piano with you, you can even get a long piano keyboard that's out of paper that shows all of the note names on it. That can be helpful too as you're working through your theory course. So please let me know if you have any questions about full steps, half steps in this unit two. You can also review the video from level one as I go through that in a little bit more detail. And uh, any questions, let me know and be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for joining me.